Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about some of my newborn essentials. Now I know this won't be relevant to um, those of you who come to my channel for beauty, but when I was pregnant I watched about 500 of these videos and I found them so useful and now I've actually had my baby, I really really wanted to make my own one. So if this is not relevant for you then maybe come back on another day, I upload on Sundays and Wednesdays so there's two videos a week. Um, but if it is, I hope some of my recommendations are useful to you if you're expecting a baby or you've just had a baby. Um, I realised there is so much stuff on the market, like when you find out you're pregnant you start researching like what you need when you have a baby and there is just so much out there and it's so hard trying to determine like what is worth buying and what's not and I found these videos to be some of the most useful videos when I was pregnant in working out what to buy. So a lot of these things that I'm going to show you today are actually recommendations from other newborn essential videos that I've watched. Um, I probably won't be able to remember who recommended them because I watched so many of them. Um, but nonetheless they've kind of helped make the past two months since my baby was born um, easier and they've just been really useful and um, I also might make a video of like stuff that's not worth the money because I've watched a few of those as well But there's not so many things because I did so much research into what to buy before I bought it I didn't buy that many like bad things if you know what I mean um, So there's not so many disappointing products anyway, so starting off with feeding um, Whether or not you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding I've definitely got some recommendations for you for breastfeeding in the early days I definitely use the lanolin um, that everyone recommends the Lancinol lanolin. Um, however, that didn't remain an essential. Past about five days in, I stopped using that. Um, things that were essential to me, however, were the Medela nipple shields. And these are a bit of a like, love-hate thing. Like a lot of people are like, don't use nipple shields, you shouldn't use nipple shields, your baby will get bottle confusion and all that kind of stuff. However, I knew that I wanted to um, express and give her some feeds with a bottle anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna risk it for a biscuit. My nipples are really sore. About, I started using this from about five days in to two weeks in. I use them for every feed. And that's another thing that um, some of the midwives were like, whatever whatever means that you can feed, keep doing that. Some of the other midwives I saw were like, oh, you shouldn't keep using them like if your nipples aren't like actually really in pain. But I got really sore nipples, used these until they were totally healed. And then like River, took the back to the boob without these perfectly. So um, it wasn't an issue for me. They pretty much saved breastfeeding. I probably would have given up in week two if I hadn't have had these. So I really, really recommend them and they worked for me. Um, the other thing that I really, really liked in the early days um, were these, which are the Multimam compressors. And I do actually rec remember who recommended these. It was Anna Sacone, um when I, I think it was her newborn essential video or something, maybe it was what's in her bag, I can't remember. I think, actually, I think it might have been what's in her hospital bag. Um, these are really expensive, like they're, I think they're about 12 quid for a pack of 12, so they're about a pound each. However, don't use one for each boob, use one and cut it in half because they are too big anyway, like you know, they only need to cover your like direct nipple area. These were so good for soothing sore nipples, like quite honestly, they just feel amazing and they really helped me in the first couple of weeks. I used them a lot um, and they were worth the money. I don't use them now and you don't need to continue buying them and continue buying them. So it's kind of worth the money in the first couple of weeks if you get sore nipples. I'd say I use these from the end of the first week for about two or three weeks um, and they're really really good. I really rate those a lot and you can get them in boots. And then other feeding things that I really recommend are the Philips Event range. I tried a few different bottles, I really wanted to love the Tommy Tippy ones um, but really it depends on what your baby likes. River's actually not very fussy um, with her bottles however like she'll take the bottle but I found that the event like system with the breast pump and the storage cups which are these ones and the bottles to all round be the one that I've preferred. Um, the teats that we use are the natural teats, not like the original or whatever, they're like the Nat Phillips event natural teats. Um, and we found that they're just better for like getting in her mouth <laughs> when she was really tiny, she lost quite a lot of weight and we were like on a quite a strict like make her gain weight routine. Um, part of which was expressing, giving her express milk and um, obviously you need a bottle for that. And we found with these ones, they're a little bit, the teats are a little bit harder, so you can not like force feed them, but you can get them in her mouth when she's like, when she was really sleepy and didn't really want to feed, you could get these in her mouth easier and she would feed easier. 
um, rather than the Tommy Tippy ones are a bit softer and they should just like squish the, the tea. Um, so these work for us and she's still feeding on these really, really well when I use express milk. Um, I also like the size of them. They don't look as nice. The Tommy Tippy ones look really nice, but um, these work for us and the, the um, storage cups are really good. I did try using the bags and they're just messy and they did not work for me. Um, the Lantano um, express milk bags, they might work for some people, but I just, they were a nightmare. They leaked and it was just a mess. Um, these are really good. And the pump as well, which I don't have to show you, but the pump that goes with it, I have the single electric breast pump from them and that's really, really good. And I have used it loads. In terms of clothing, there's a couple of things that I would say have been essentials during the newborn period for us. The first one were these. Um, I really cannot recommend these highly enough. These are the Bond Wonder Suits. I've actually been recommended these by a lot of people now as well um, <laughs> because they are so good. They have a double zip. So basically for wearing at night time, she doesn't wear these in the day, but she basically wears them every night. Um, so you can zip them in and out. There's no poppers easy to change and happy with. They've got the fold over hands and feet. So if you wanna have their feet and hands out, you can. If you wanna have them in, which we have at night because it's winter, you can. They're quite a thin material. So if it is a little bit cold, you might need a vest underneath them. But in terms of sleeping, like we put her to sleep in a little sleeping bag. So it's perfect to not have something too thick as well. This design is my favorite one. Um, you can buy them in John Lewis in the UK. It's, I think it's the only place that stocks them in the UK actually. Um, and they're quite expensive. I think they're 20 pounds each. But I bought a load of mine on sale before she was born for about £10 each and they're amazing. And if you live in Australia, they're really cheap, especially if they have a sale on. I just ordered some stuff from their website and it hasn't arrived yet three weeks later. So I don't know how reliable it is ordering from their website to the UK. However, these are brilliant. And if you have a newborn baby, I would 100% recommend getting one and see if they work for you because this is basically all she wears at night. It's amazing. And then the other thing that I would 100% recommend if you have a winter baby is one of these bear suit fleece thingies. This one in particular, I've got quite a lot of these because she was a winter baby and we also just went on a ski holiday. I have quite a lot of like pram suit, snow suit type things. This one has been the most useful. It's from the White Company, it's about 20 pounds. Um, and it's fleece on the inside, so it's warm on the inside as well as, like I find a lot of these are not cozy on the inside. They're really soft on the outside, but they're not cozy for the baby. This one is, because it's like a, th a fleece jacket, it's not like a full on coat, she can still fit in her car seat and bu be buckled up safely in her car seat in this. It's not like a padded coat. Um, it's more like a thick, like baby grow, basically. But it's been so useful because you know when they're asleep and you don't wanna like have to wake them up and cram them into a snowsuit, and then take it back off to put them in the car seat, all of that, like that whole faff is just not worth it in terms of disturbing her. So I like to keep her in this and then it unzips to the bottom and then the bottom is actually poppers. So you can kind of like unpopper it when you're inside. She's not too hot. It's just worked really, really well for us. And we've used this loads. It also washes really nicely. We've washed it quite a lot. And um, yeah, I would really recommend this. And it's unisex too. So we can use it for more winter babies if we have those. This is the 0 to 3 size and I would say it has lasted her from about two weeks to, I think it will go all the way to three months, which a lot of the stuff she's grown out of. So um, it's quite good. It's a little bit stretchy too. And then moving on to bath time bits and bobs. I have quite a lot of recommendations for bath time actually. The first one are these little washcloths. These are called Cheeky Wipes. I bought them on Amazon. I think I got a pack of 25 for about 12 pounds. And they're actually supposed to be the non-disposable nappy wipes. So um, if you use Terry nappies, um, these are like the non-disposable wipes that you use. I don't use them for that, but I actually use them for washing her. So if she's in the bath, I'll use them on her face to wash her body. I'll also get one wet with the warm water and leave it on her chest if her chest is out of the bath, so it keeps her a bit warmer. Um, they're just really good and they're really tiny as well. It's not like using a full size flannel. It's like the perfect baby size. So I'd recommend getting a pack of those. It's basically all we've used for her in the bath and they're really soft. Um, the other thing I would recommend is a bath thermometer. I realize this is not essential in terms of you can run a bath that is baby friendly temperature, but I found it's just really nice to know exactly what temperature is the best for baby because I was surprised by how warm babies can have their bath. I thought they were gonna have to have a pretty cold bath, um, but it turns out baby temperature bath, which is 37, um, 37, yeah, um, is really good. And having this has just been so good because she can, you know that the bath is the perfect temperature and she's not gonna get too cold and get whingy or it be too hot for her. So I recommend one of those. Again, Amazon, I think it's about five quid. Um, I also bought a Porty cradle cap brush. And we have actually used this as a little hairbrush for her since 
the first couple, like since her first baths. Um, and it works really nicely as a little hairbrush as well. She didn't develop cradle cap until about a week ago and she started getting it now. And this is just a really gentle kind of um, brush that you can use to massage it and it does help kind of get rid of the flakes. Cradle cap's disgusting, but um, it goes. Um, so yeah, that was from Amazon as well. And then the other thing is this whale. This I think is Skip Hop actually, which is the same brand as the play mat that we've got for her. This is so good. I bought this thinking, it probably wouldn't work. And I know who recommended this. I think it was Emily Norris as well, actually, um, in her newborn essentials video. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it because like getting like water in your eyes when you're a kid is really annoying. And it must be really annoying for a newborn baby because they don't understand what's going on. Um, and I was like, it can't work that well, but actually it does. Basically she she never gets water in her eyes and she's, so, she's such a little happy bather. She loves the bath. Um, and this is really, really good for just washing her hair, rinsing her hair off. Um, yeah, and I'm sure, I mean, you still use this when kids are bigger, so I'm sure it'll last. It's not like the cheapest thing in the world, considering you can just use a flannel or your hand to put water on your baby's head, but it really does work. Like you put that against their forehead and they don't get water in their eyes. Um, so I've liked using that. And then um, in terms of like medically skincare-y kind of stuff, the Lanolin um, or the uh, Lanolips, or have they totally changed their brand to just Lano now? I think they have. Um, Golden Dry Skin Salve is what I've been using on her dry skin on her face. Um, she had really bad baby acne when she was tiny and that's cleared up now, but now she has quite sensitive dry skin. So she gets it on her cheeks and on her eyebrows and things. I just use this on there and it just really, really helps to moisturize them. It's formulated with lanolin, manuka honey, vitamin E, um, and it's, I, I, think, I don't know if it's 100% natural. I know, yeah, it's 100% natural. So um, yeah, it's basically one of the only skincare things that I put on her along with um, the Veleda calendula nappy cream she hasn't had nappy rash yet but she has got a sore bottom from pooping in a nappy and us not realizing a few times and this just really helps to ease it and clear it up super super quickly and it's back to normal within a day so um it's yeah i've really liked this i mean what else can you say about nappy cream it's basically like a barrier cream but it's not um full of chemicals it's like i think again i think it's all natural um yeah free of synthetic preservatives fragrances colorants um, free of raw material um, derived from mineral oils. Whereas if you use something like Pseudocreme, it's obviously a bit more chemically, still works, but um, I just like to use natural stuff on her because basically that's all she has on her body. She still gets washed in just water. Um, in terms of like nappies and stuff, we've actually been using these ones, which are the um, Natty or Natty, I don't exactly know how it's pronounced, nappies. We started off using Pampers and my sister actually, told me not to use Pampers when um, I was pregnant. She was like, I had a really bad experience with Pampers with my kids and blah, blah, blah. And I kind of didn't really listen to her. I was like, oh, whatever, natural nappies are way more expensive. And then I saw them in um, the supermarket and they, they sell them in Waitrose. And I saw them in Waitrose, they were on offer basically for the same amount as Pampers. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try them because they're normally more expensive. I'm gonna try them and see what they're like. And actually, Nothing to do with them being better for the environment, which they are better for um, like less chemicals in less, no bleach, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're actually really, really good at holding the poop in, more so than Pampers, in my opinion. Um, in terms of leakages and explosions, we have less using these than we do with Pampers. They're more expensive. I actually order them on Amazon now and they end up being a few pence more each than Pampers, but they're not crazy, like a huge amount more expensive. Um, and I think while she's still so tiny, I am happy to use these. And she, like I said, there's no nappy rash. She's really, really happy using them. And I, I like them. Yeah, I like them a lot. Um, but let me know what you guys think about natural nappies, whether or not you use them, whether or not you use Pampers or whatever brand. Side note, they fit much smaller than Pampers. So when she was in, Pampers size one should be in size two for these and when we tried to move her up to Pampers size two they were way too big and it was just a total mess so we went back to these because they were like the only ones. The ones were too small and the twos were too big um, but these fit perfectly. These are the size two for her. Anyway, that's enough chat about nappies. Um, the other thing that I've used um, for nappy baby changing are water wipes. I know I mentioned these in my what's in my changing bag video and a lot of you were like yes water wipes. Um, and a lot of you are like, no, they're too expensive. It's kind of like, 
what where do you want to spend your money do you want to spend it on wipes it's not the most exciting thing to spend your money on but like i said before i'm quite wary of when she's still so tiny not putting too many chemicals on her body so um yeah water wipes have worked really well and they're quite wet and i like the fact that they're wet because it gets the poop off your bum um her bum not mine <laughs> um and in terms of like uh other like body care stuff i've also really really liked these um baby nail scissors a lot of people are like um, bite your baby's nails. There's no way I could bite her nails. I'd bite her finger off. Like, seriously, I tried doing that. It was just not going to happen. Um, these are really good. They're the Nipper Clippers from Style File. I think this is the same company that does the, um, Style Pro brush cleaner. Um, but these are actually so good. They, I don't know if all baby clippers are like this, but they have, like, this little viewing hole in the top so you can see what you're cutting. So you can see, if you're about to cut into their finger, you can see it. So you're not going to cut their finger. So good. And it comes with this little S-shaped file as well for filing the nails down. Um, yeah. Really, really good, and I just keep them in the little pouch so I don't lose them. Um, but yeah, I've used them loads on her. I'd say I probably have to cut her nails about once a week. The other thing that was a recommendation from somebody, I think this was an, an American YouTuber, I can't remember who it was, um, is the Nose Frida um, Bogey Sucker or Nasal Aspirator. Um, Mike is too wimpy to use this because he thinks it's so disgusting. Basically, you stick it up their nose and you stick the pipe in your mouth. This is what it looks like. You stick it up their nose, not like all the way up their nose, just like over the, so it like plugs their nostril, basically. So there's no air coming out. And you just go, and the bogeys come out into this bit. It's not gonna go in your mouth. For a start, there's like a filter, but also the bogey only goes like this far anyway. So this is really good. She's been quite a congested baby, um, which I think is something to do with being born via C-section as well. They did tell us when she was first born, she'd be more mucusy um, and a bit more like like snorty and sneezy and stuff. But she ha she's quite a snotty baby. Like not like a lot of snot, but like she's quite snuffily. Um, in general, she doesn't, not that she has a cold or anything, but there's been a few times where we have needed to use that and it is very effective at getting the bogeys out of the nose. Um, and then last but not least, these are not kind of newborn things, I'd say these are from about six weeks onwards, but these have made my life so much easier. The first one is the Black and White book um, by Tana Hoban. Um, this is, I'm sure you can get lots of different books, like, I know you can get lots of different books that are black and white, but this one is like a thick one that you can stand up it has a white side and a black side she loves staring at this she will stare at this for hours she think well not hours i want to leave her for hours but she'll stare she'll just lie and stare at it for as long as you want her to and just just be like wow um it's her favorite book she loves it um we've tried a few other like sensory like pop-up book things this is definitely her favorite she loves it and it's just so easy if you're going out for the day and you need some distraction or if you want to have a shower um, and it, keep her entertained while you're in the shower and she's on the floor, um, then this is good. Um, and then the other thing is this little projector thing, which I've mentioned so many times. You can see it on my face, okay? When this is dark, this goes all over the room. Um, I don't actually know where this is from because it was a friend, it was a present from my friend, but I'll ask my friend and I'll put it in the info bar. Some people tell me that this is from Tiger, um, but I don't know if that is true because I'd put it in... Um, and Instagram stories before, but it is so good. Honestly, she like loves it. I put it in her cot, like up, like way above her head. It's not gonna like hit her on the head or anything. So it doesn't like go in her eyes, it's quite bright and it just projects. So she's like lying there and it's behind her at the top of the cot and it just projects all around her cot. So if she's having like a bit of a wake time and she needs to calm down and feel a bit more zen, she'll just sit there and she's just like, Wow, and I just, it's the best thing ever, just watching her looking at the lights. Um, again, also means you can have a shower, or get dressed, or put your makeup on, or whatever, and she'd just keep her entertained for the time being. Um, that's really good, but again, probably not so much when they're a newborn and they can't really see. This is like, maybe a month onwards, six weeks onwards. She's loved those. And that is it, I think, for my newborn essentials. Oh, the other thing I was gonna um, mention actually were two like larger items that I don't have to show you. The first one is the Mobar plastic Moses basket. I loved that. Um, we use that downstairs for her in the daytime for daytime naps. It's super lightweight, easy to carry around. So she can basically be in the same room as you and you can just pick her up and carry her. Um, it's a normal Moses basket, but it's made out of silicone, so it's like washable. The sheets are all really nice. It looks really nice. I've really rated that. Um, we've used that loads. And the other thing that I would 
I have been talking everyone's ear off about, because I love it so much, is the Cybex Cloud Q um, car seat. Now, I have the whole system, like the travel system with the pram and everything, but the car seat is like the star of the show. I love all of them, but the car seat is just so brilliant because it lies flat when it's outside of the car. You don't have to wake her up. You don't have to move her. She can stay in it all day. It's like a normal cot once it goes totally flat. And it's so cute and compact and nice looking, as well as being super cozy for her. She loves being in there, not when it's sat up. She doesn't like going in car seats in general, any car seat. Um, but when it's lay flat and she's like all cozy and she's got her blanket, she's fine in there and you can walk around town with her with it and then you can just put it up, put it in the car, so easy. And I've had a lot of people ask me about the Duna and how much I use that and is it worth the money? I do like the Duna, we have that in my car and the um, Cybex one is in Mike's car. However, we've used the Cybex one a lot more because in, in terms of going out for a long period of time, it just makes things so much easier. And you also have the storage of a proper buggy, the weight of a proper buggy, so you can hang your handbag on it and all that kind of stuff. Whereas the Duna is very, very lightweight. It doesn't have any under storage, like a, like a normal buggy would. And the Cybex one has loads of storage. Um, and it, even if you clip a bag on it, you wouldn't want to clip a heavy bag on the Duna because it is very, very lightweight. Um, so it depends on what your lifestyle and what you want to use it for. But for us, the, the Cybex Cloud Q car seat has been amazing. And I say Cloud Q like a million times because they do another car seat that doesn't lie flat. Um, and that is the main reason why I love it. So that is it for my newborn essentials. I hope you guys have had a lovely day. If you're currently pregnant, I hope it's going well. Um, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.